the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> August, April, April 25th, 2022. It is 4.05 a.m. This is video number two. And uh, this video depend if I could uh, focus on it only, uh, it will be about closing ceremony. But uh, if uh, I have more time, I'll add other tweets to it. All right. So this is the first tweet. We love you, Harry. Standing ovation for Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, at the Invictus Game closing ceremony, The Hague. All right, 42 seconds. So please help me welcome him to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. So please help. Okay, let's read some of the comments. <laughs> There's the square. Okay, I know his mom will be so proud of him. Okay, standing ovation. Even the ones that say who don't love Prince Harry, low-key do. Okay, they just hurt. Okay, I think I read this on my last video. Warrior Gabe George, also known as the one arm archer, had a memorable exchange with Prince Harry during the Invictus game. Click the link to read about their conversation and see photos from the game all right so i have that link on my last video okay there's like a whole bunch of other clips i think like 37 pictures about uh, what went on in the background at the invictus okay the only reason why they want the royal british royal family to take away the invictus game from prince harry is because they know it's very successful 
and on a global stage they know toby don't have anything like this and want it for him unfortunately for them this is prince harry's baby and they can't take it I'm tell you the jealousy this is the heart of uh, a lot of uh people jealousy all right they have the same opportunity if not more than harry to do something all right and the fund and everything they'll have whatever it is to help them but they prefer jealousy right this one is six minutes i'm not gonna play it because I, I have a feeling i will be flagged for it okay you all have summited your mountain listen to the duke of sussex full speech from the closing ceremony of the invictus if i play it and stop in between i'm wondering no, let me see let me see i don't know i probably will get flagged for it wow 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 what a week You've only gone and done it again. <sighs> did you have fun? Yeah! I said, did you have fun? Yeah! If your goal was to make your country proud, you've done it. If your goal was to make your family happy, you've achieved it. <laughs> If your goal was a medal, a PB, or to merely finish the race, you've smashed it. And if your goal was to leave stronger than when you arrived, well, let's hear it. <laughs> That's right, guys, you've done it, you've done it again. As I've said to a lot of you, you can train for the sport but you can't train for the atmosphere. Hmm. You have all summited your mountain, and I could not be prouder of every single one of you. We, we, your friends and family, could not be prouder of who you are and what you represent, especially given what it's taken to get here. Mindset is everything. That, this is the most difficult part to actually get yourself out of the house to get yourself out of the house is monumental because when you are at a, a place either of comfort or whatever he said like the mindset okay you know you have to do it but you don't feel like doing it but once you are out there bam you do it there's a, we went um hiking you know what? let's focus on that Let's focus on that. There's a, there's a powerful quote that's been doing the rounds this week, and rightly so. The wound is the place where the light enters you. Hmm. Just wow. think about that for a second. Wow. The very awareness you, you have of your wound, of your injury, of your illness, is an opportunity for post-traumatic growth wow. and my god have you grown the openness and honesty of your feelings and experiences of what has happened to you rather than what is wrong with you provides understanding and healing wow. from interviews that invictus did across the park this week and as some of you have shared with me personally many would have taken their own life wow. had it not been for these games. <laughs> Listening to this, all of them, look at that, look at her face. All of them have experienced something in some shape or form similar to each and every one of them in there. So this is very powerful. And I just wish those uh, elected officials who are in power to either create war, start war, or finish war, just be very mindful. War should be the last result, the last result of anything. Diplomacy should be number one because you are taking many of these young people's lives away from them and leave them in a world where you keep on creating more obstacles for them and while they were trying to protect your interests. So that, that's the, uh, the, cost, the cost of war, the result of war. 
and uh, I'm glad Harry's doing that and many of them are all sitting participating you know I, I could just imagine being uh, let's say on the track or something like that all you're thinking about I want to finish this because I've uh, I was in a place of disturbance so you want to push yourself to finish it and it's the willpower for each one of them so Harry is right Harry is right but let's continue I need to stop somewhere because I know I'll be flagged for that six minutes plus I would definitely be flagged if I just let it play you made a choice to be here to stay with us to grow with us and I can't explain how much it means to me and how much all of you mean to us so thank you that's why without them participating there won't be any Invictus that's the thing and I'm glad he uh, thank them for joining not only to help them okay to help them help themselves but also to make this game possible so i'm glad he tell them thank you for participating and how much all of you mean to us so thank you this is a blueprint of what the wider world needs today the power of resilience the power of healing and the power of recovery so if or when you feel alone please know that you are not alone this community is with you we are all with you to friends and family we wouldn't be here without you uh, tears coming down the so he's hitting the floor he is hitting the floor Look at the dog, that's for sure. My goodness, that is true. We thank you for sharing and shouldering the weight of our wounds. From vulnerability comes strength, hmm. and together, all of us are defining the Invictus generation. In or out of uniform, we stand up to injustice. We answer the call for help. We defend those that need defending. Service and sacrifice is in our blood. And don't you ever forget it. <laughs> Last week, I said that your collective stories would be written into the history books. Well, the ink isn't quite set yet. But we sure have wrote some great stories together. My ask of you is to bottle the memory mm. and the feeling of this past week. Bring it with you when you leave. Know that it's always there when you need it. Mm. Next year, we're going to Germany. And we'll be unleashing the Invictus spirit yet again. Mm. And then, and then, as announced earlier today, with, as announced earlier today, with permission and by invitation from the First Nations, we have selected Vancouver and Whistler to host our first ever Winter Hybrid Games in Canada in 2025. So, 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 dress up warm. <laughs> so if you're watching from home, discover that warrior beating heart that is inside of you, because we're going to need you in the coming years. To all of you here tonight, I am honored to have served alongside you. Thank you for your service, and we'll see you in Dusseldorf. <laughs> pronounce it my goodness it's very touching i didn't play it on the last video because i didn't know how to approach it because i thought that most likely i still don't know as i'm recording 
I might get flagged for it, but um, I did stop in between. But anyway, so that's that. Glad that I um, played it so you guys could listen to it. I don't know if other Sussex Squad channels have played it, but there it is here. Uh, look at Princess Margaret of the Netherlands with her leopard pants on. <laughs> okay, okay, I love the Dutch modern royals. Okay, I covered this on my last video. I'm surprised I have it here again. All right, let's go to the next tweet. I don't know if it's the same and i shared this i don't know why i have it twice but at least i played a video next tweet okay that's part of it the wound is a place where the light enters you i'm telling you when, when i heard him say it i'm like wow it is true okay you i just played it so i'm not gonna play it again okay the haters always say harry has changed and he is not the same harry you're right he has grown into an incredible man they blame megan for everything so i blame megan for praying for her husband and asking god to strengthen him because this change and harry is divine yeah <laughs> the squad i love the way the squad usually take the haters own word and turn it to a positive that is true okay he stand tall he doesn't have a stagger from clubs drunk he has a family he doesn't do silly things anymore they hate that he is no longer their clown they can no longer hide their incompetence behind him okay of you know thinking about this here it reminds me of the johnny depp thing when if you guys are paying attention to his uh trial which is gonna continue later today is that uh amber is pretending she's helping him when in fact she instigating him and uh standing behind uh you know it's like pushing him to be uh, a bad person <laughs> when you look at all of the recording it's all of hers it's all of hers pretending to be helping thinking this is gonna help her but when in fact it's just showing how cool she is and at the same time when you in comparison to harry thing here all right you put, you will think the royal family or the royal rats will be for harry's well-being but in fact they're pushing him to be in a negative state so they could not only write stories but to pop up the other one mm -hmm. so that's the comparison here okay he stands okay i just read this okay of all the british royal family prince harry is the most well-spoken of that bunch kudos all the way around harry and megan all right, I read this in one video, and I think some of these are being repeated. I think what happened is that this is a whole, uh, is a thread, and I'm coming across bits and pieces, but if I come across some of these, I'll stop, because I think I shared it in my last video. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's see this one. Okay, so this is Invictus Game Netherlands. What is this? Okay, let's see here. It is eight seconds. Yep, waiting to go in. Closing ceremony. <laughs> what is this? Yep, waiting to go in. That is not. Uh, what's this? The entrance to the stadium where the closing ceremony is being kept. Okay, there's a huge crowd. Okay, there's, yeah, I think this is part of the, the long thread again. There's this again okay there's that so let's go to the next tweet oh did i copy it right copy okay there's the next one we love you harry and that was part of the closing ceremony again all right okay we love you harry 42 seconds so please help me welcome him to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, Prince Harry, <laughs> the Duke of Sussex! It's a success, definitely a success. Thank you. 
so please help me welcome All right, him. let me read some of the comment i don't yeah it's the same thing okay and a standing ovation so it looks like bits and pieces from that same link let's see who else is tweeting about that okay All right, so this one is slightly different okay service and sacrifice is in our blood said the duke of sussex to wrap up the invictus game the hague ig22 thank you polish team for your outstanding performance all right let's see here there he is pictures this time and there they are here invictus game okay there's this invictus game netherland was fantastic there's the heart clap what is this okay participated in commemoration ceremony at the site snake okay what is that S uh Setzer Nakerberg. okay can't pronounce it with this person state secretary for health welfare and sports of uh who's that Okay, that, that's a definitely a different language. I can't read it. Laid flowers by my video message. Okay, definitely this I cannot read. All right, a minute and 15 seconds. That's the first time I'm seeing this. Where was that? What happened? Is Azor Haprelik Samtjorsin, Hamain Hayutjuner, Inchpes Nayev, Nederland Neri, Hai Hamainke Mia for Vum, and Yerens Harkati. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop it. That was 22 hours ago. So that means it's more recent. I don't know what this is about. All right, so let me move on. Next tweet. I want to focus on the Invictus. All right, that's that again. I just did. Okay, I don't understand how anyone can see anything but heart and a drive to help others when they hear him and see what he does all right you know that's part of the closing ceremony i already said it all right empathy and purpose can go a long way there's the heart of invictus let's see if your goal was a medal a pb or to merely finish the race you smashed it And if your goal was to leave stronger than when you arrived, well, let's hear it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right guys, you've done it, you've done it again. As I've said to a lot of you, you can train for the sport, but you can't train for the atmosphere. Hmm. You have all summited your mountain, and I could not be prouder of every single one of you. One of the things that he said here, um, you can't, uh, what is it? Something about spirit, the atmosphere. When we went uh, away for the quick little mini vacation, we've been there before. So that was before the pandemic, way before the pandemic. I think my kids were like maybe, my youngest was probably four or five. And my oldest was probably either s seven or eight or something like that. At that time, it was the atmosphere over there was so lively, people, music, and all of that. And we went over there. It was completely quiet. There were people, don't get me wrong, but the atmosphere is not the same. And, I mean, we find our way to enjoy it, but it's not the same when there's no people. Okay? We've, I even told my cousin as uh, when I was over there, saying that the... Uh, you know the atmosphere is not the same most of the stuff were closed and you don't hear the music playing people hanging out plus it was at a different time when we first went uh it was like more in the summer or something like that so the weather was kind of different but right now it's still we're in spring and it's still cold and stuff like that actually there were snows in the mountain and all of that so being around other people changed the atmosphere definitely okay even though with we still end the pandemic people still wearing masks and all of that um you know you want to see you want to be around people to make things feel more lively there's a different feeling when there's more people we we your friends and family could not be prouder of who you are and what you represent especially given what it's taken to get here 
Mindset is everything. There's a, there's a powerful quote that's been doing the rounds this week, and rightly so. The wound is the place where the light enters you. Just think about that for a second. The very awareness that you have of your wound, of your injury, of your illness, is an opportunity for post-traumatic growth. <laughs> and my God, have you grown. That's very important. The openness and honesty of your feelings and experiences of what has happened to you, rather than what is wrong with you, provides understanding and healing. From interviews that Invictus did across the park this week, and as some of you have shared with me personally, many would have taken their own life had it not been for these games. Wow, that's very powerful. Okay, they are not seeing because they don't want to really look. <laughs> they equal UK tabloid, UK voter, the world loves this man. <laughs> okay, the world sees the service and love he brings just as the world saw it and his mother. The UK tabloid nonsense is just hate, noise, meant to harm him. It is not working. The world loves this man, Prince Harry. Well said. Yep. Okay. We I read this already. So these are different parts to the thread. Next tweet. Okay. Tear and more tears. <laughs> yep. Let's see here. 36 seconds. I'm gonna get flagged for this, but I'll let it play. If I get flagged, I'll just cut it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get flagged for it, okay? I probably will mute it just to be on the safe side because someone is saying it. Wish I could see this closing ceremony in its entirety. Okay, I want to see the whole thing. Probably it will be on Netflix. Okay, and Victus has been wonder to watch. Yeah, I was very happy to follow some of the tweets. Okay, I love you having such a good time. The Invictus games are amazing, aren't they? They're nothing like it. Heavy and his Invictus family must be so proud. What a week. All right, fantastic. I see faces on the lantern. Who are those? I think the competitors. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, and Victor's game closing ceremony. So that's another portion of it. Another, uh, I think that's the same person who's saying the closing thing here. Uh, oh, this is so long. Nine minutes and 21 seconds. Let's go. So now as we are nearing the end of this incredible week, who better uh, to share some of his favorite moments and outtakes of this week than the founder of this inspiring event. As someone who has been involved since the founding of the Invictus Games, he has seen the community grow and grow and incredible results to be achieved. So please help me welcome him to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Okay. I've played it already, but this is another person who tweeted out. Okay, and there's more length to it. Nine minutes and 21 seconds. I already play a good six minutes of Harry Spot. Okay, Meg, coming to join you, my love. <laughs> there's that. Okay, I'm never tired of seeing Harry get a standing ovation. Okay, well done, Harry. We love you for all the amazing things you are doing. All right, there's some extra. Okay, good closing ceremony. It's always good to have them dancing out of the door. Okay, beautiful. UK media will not cover this and it's shameful. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Let's do the last tweet that I have on that. Okay, guys. Oh, this is where he's hanging out with the king. Okay, guys. People have been partying at the Invictus. Honestly, they are having so much fun. Okay, basketball final USA versus Netherlands. All right. 15 seconds. <laughs> Listen to the dog. It's playing again. No wonder why the king was having fun. Some of the clips that I was seeing. Okay, yeah, I'm not jealous at all. I'm not sitting here pasting my pictures in the corner of an image 
imagining that I am a part of that amazing atmosphere. Damn, they are having so much fun. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm jealous, right? Okay, the only reason why they want the British royal family to take away the Invictus Games from Prince Harry is because they know it's very successful and on a global stage. They know Toby don't have anything like this and want it for him. Unfortunately for them, this is Prince Harry's baby and they can't take it. Yeah, they took everything everything that they had given him, <laughs> they took it away from him. I want to say something else, but knock on wood, it's not going to happen. They want... Anyway, let's go to the next one. I'm done with some of the things that I put for closing ceremony. Let's see here. I have here flag passed from Netherlands to the next country. All right, let's see here. It I originally I had one tweet and I think last night I added another one. All right, so there it is. They're passing it on. The flag has officially been passed. Dusseldorf, here we come. IG23. Okay, let's go follow and make this game the E. Uh, they're really cool, we promise, okay, uh, keep the Invicta spirit going, Germany, here we go, Netherlands, you truly were the perfect host, thank you, okay, thank you, Netherlands, you did a brilliant job for hosting the Invictus game, looking forward, the Invictus does it off Germany, all right, so there's this again, playing, uh, Um, I have another tweet here. It says here the Invictus game will take place in Vancouver. Let's see here. I think I added this last night when I come home. When I came home. Okay, the Invictus game will take place in Vancouver and Whistle, Canada in 2025. The Duke of Sussex has announced Harry revealed the location of the 2025 event on the final day of the game in The Hague. All right. One minute and 32 seconds. They can lay on their social media. He was blown away, as I said, by, you know, just the atmosphere here. And I'm sure all of you would agree if you've spent time with... Thank you very much. As Invictus continues to adapt and evolve, I'm thrilled to announce that the Invictus Games Foundation has selected Canada to host the first ever Winter Hybrid Games in 2024. <laughs> And we'll be featuring brand new sports, as always. The Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025 will offer a global platform to expand the range and profile of winter adaptive sports. An international team led by True Patriot Love is bringing a wealth of experience to the development of these first of its kind games. With deep respect, I'm also pleased to share that the Games in Canada will be held in partnership with the First Nations in the spirit of truth and reconciliation with Indigenous communities. We will still have many of the core sports, the Invictus Games, that you know and love, but they'll just be a little cooler. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Invictus is heading back to North America, and this is a very, very good thing. Okay, so that's that. Let's see here. Quote, with indigenous communities, where his cult family fails, he prevails. They can even get the hand grab, fixed smile to a right. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. So looking forward to it. I mean, the royal family had so many rooms for improvement, for evolve, to, to be able to apologize to people and move forward. But instead, they keep on double it down and quadruple it down to in the negative way like whatever they're doing is the right thing it's a shame okay very good there's a love clap and clap and love all right so let's move here and victor's germany all right so that's another set of topics that i have i'm covering okay this is alfred he is in charge or oh, this is the squad <laughs> Alva right, is in charge of the Invictus game in Germany 2023. I interview him to find out what to expect. He promised me IG23 will be an experience we will never forget. I will be volunteering and I told Alfred that I only want the best for my Invictus family, IG23. This is what I mean. I believe she's a Brit. All right? You see, the little people are going out of their way to support their, you know, 
their Invictus family, their, their, their country and all of that. But the people who are in the position to do it are not doing it to show support and all of that. So I'm kind of happy she went and uh, share her experience with some of us. Okay, Alfred look like he's about to visit all. <laughs> goodness okay hello well alfred was admiring my squaddy t-shirt i told him there will be a t-shirt in germany color come september 2023 okay he looks like he's checking you out hello well amazing that you'll be volunteering okay hello well he likes my sussex squad t-shirt all right that's the same thing here i covered already next tweet all right this one i think i added last night there's this Invictus game Team Germany meet Prince Harry. All right, uh, two minutes and three seconds. There's a music in the background. I'm probably gonna mute it, unless there's people talking. Schon im kommenden Jahr wird es dann wieder soweit sein und die Rahmenbedingungen für das sportliche Highlight sind geschaffen. You are what the Invictus Games is all about. Thank you for teaching us about mental strength and resilience and for showing us what it means to succeed. We will never forget your contribution to our collective freedom and joint security, especially in light of the cruel war raging in Ukraine at this very moment. <laughs> Clutching in his brain. Where is it? There he is. Megan is in his mind. <laughs> and he's asking everybody else's name. Believe me, he's gonna remember. <laughs> And also uh, our team shirt, it's uh, signed by all the members of the German team, also the friends and family, and I think also sweated. Okay, love. Prince Harry so witty. And the end of video, Germany gave Prince Harry a t-shirt sign with all their names, family, and Prince Harry says cheeky. Quote, oh, then I make sure I don't wash it. All right, that's, he's probably going to frame that. Okay, thank you always for the service you provide us. You appreciate it. There's that. I love it, including the music. Uh, I'm probably going to mute the music so I don't get the copyright claim on it. Okay, we love the ginger prince. Harry is family. Thank you. So beautiful. Thanks for sharing. All right. There's that. Harry really makes me smile. Thank you for sharing, dear. Okay, I'm getting emotional again. We both need to stop chopping those darn onions. All right. There's that. Okay, good King Harry. The ever passionate Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, founder of Invitex Game. All right. So let's move to the next topic. What do I have here? Harry versus William. Okay, I'm 38 minutes, so I'm adding some more. Let's see here. Okay, one of these guys served 10 years in the military and founded the Invictus Game for wounded veterans. The other flew helicopters for a short while and had no significant accomplishment to his name. One is a warrior. The other is William of Wampington Wamp Warrior. <laughs> oh my God. Look at, okay, this one is bigger. Let's look at yep uh, when harry was uh, doing the obama foundation thing he was telling his truth it's through the military that he became the person that he is they show him what it's like to be family the issues that they were facing what helped you to understand that position that you were in uh spending 10 years in the military was one <laughs> and what did um, that do for you i think it uh, I wouldn't say it changed my outlook on life, but there were certainly experiences that I went through during those 10 years that 
not only was I surrounded by normal people on a day-to-day -day basis and being able to share and talk about everyday issues that they were going through, but it was, it was a grounding moment for me as well, you know, wearing the same uniform as, as all of the people that I was serving with, getting an opportunity to, to, to serve your country uh, on operations, but also being part of a family. And that's not just the, the guys and the girls that were wearing the uniform, but also the, the wives, the girlfriends, the, ch the kids. That whole network of support um, was, 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 was huge. But I think, yeah, I think my understanding of, of service and duty became really, really ingrained or it was given to me by, by my service in the military because that's, that's what it's all about. And you're, you're taking young people from some of the, some of the most deprived cities and, and, and towns across the UK for the British Armed Forces, and I, I know it's the rest for, for the rest of the world as well, but you're taking some, of the, some, some people who've had some really, really hard upbringings and, and, and hard backgrounds, and you're training them to be ambassadors. You're training them to be fighters, but you're training them to be to be brothers in arms with each other as well. And I think that's an incredibly powerful tool to be able to, to do. And I have a huge amount of respect for, for anybody, whatever their background is, to be able to, to, to serve your country like that. Uh, they meaning the, uh, his fellow service members. Okay, part of Harry, you made me laugh. Okay, what that William is a wimp or wimp from Wimperton. Hello, <laughs> well, he is proof of how William stack up against Harry. Alright, that's this, this quad create that. This is so funny. That was the time is like every Friday the squad put this video out on Twitter. All right, there's more. Let me move on to the next one. Let me just add something here. All right, this one it says Sussex Squad team together for Invictus. One tweet. These were some tweets that I bookmarked while I was on vacation. Okay, I am really proud of us. There's the squad giving a shout out to each other for staying on course. Just focus on the Invictus. Okay, I am really proud of us. They really tried to throw mud, but all in vain. They ended up screaming for their unhinged life. We all held up tight and supported the games. We work as a team and that helped to push charities and IG tweets forward, leaving their nonsense behind there's that okay there's this we all said agree we have to be strong and stand against our enemy okay prince Perdue. okay that's a different language okay absolutely held the line yep that's the squad <laughs> i'll hold the line i'm telling you that those uh gif or something all right let's go to the next tweet i have here prince harry meeting the king of netherland all right that's one tweet Okay, look. Oh, let's do this. Okay, there's that. Let's look at the pictures. Oh, it's all in one. There's him bowing down to him, you know, show his respect. Okay, it's somewhat in the wrong order. Maybe this one for, oh, maybe it is, I don't know. This should have been last. I'm telling you, this, the king was having a blast. <laughs> like I said, I think he was more than happy to get out of his castle. <laughs> Okay, here's the order. Audience with the king to moving through royal protocol to pleasant chit chat to doing the wave and in the arena to dancing in the aisle. Oh, was he? I didn't see that one. He was dancing in the aisles to participating in a cell phone light show. Yeah, that one I saw to return composure for final outside interview. Okay, you mean the king who the British media say will snub him. Okay, heavy, that's a different language. Okay, so this keeps on coming. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, I have here Prince Harry uh, with King. All right, there they are, he's having fun. King Willem having the time of his life at the Invictus game with Prince Harry. Let's see, 21 seconds. <laughs> He 
was having a blast. Okay, there's no tweets in there. So let's move to the next one. I think that's all I wanted to share with you anyway. But let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay, he's the king of the Netherlands, snubbing Prince Harry. This is the royal way of snubbing. <laughs> uh, there's a picture of it, just having fun. There he is. Look at the guy in the back. I mean, everyone who's around Prince Harry are just full of smile. Okay, I'm having a blast. Okay, let's see here. Oh, he's such a pariah. He's clearly ostracized in those photos. <laughs> what is that? Oh my God. <laughs> the king looks like he really wants to let it all out. If the circumstances were different, he'd probably do in the caterpillar. <laughs> Oh my god, those people, the GIF. Okay, I do love good old snub with a friend. All right, <laughs> the GIF is something. All right, where was I? Uh, what was that? Here's all right, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, this is also with uh, Harry with the, with the king. There's not snub, <laughs> the squad are making fun of it. Snub, probably the best time he ever had. There it is. Yep, he's having a blast. He is having a blast. All right, there's that. Okay, really, absolutely. Okay, Prince Harry keeps showing them up. The British media race and races are uh, embarrassment 24 7. They're really looking bad, especially with IG media. Okay, but even if Invictus, Invictus game media. But even if none of the Dutch royals had turned up, what of it? This is not an official royal visit. Prince Harry is always doing this for the wounded veterans to support them. That is true. All right, this keeps on showing. Next tweet. There's that. British media. Ha <laughs> ha. There's the squad. Now there's the image of it. I mean, not image, the video of it. All right. 27. Okay, I have no idea what they were saying. I guess thank a king, king turn, let's take a photo or something like that but whatever but he came to party look at him he, he dressed comfortable in a relaxed kind of way no tie no nothing he came to have fun and you saw the fun he was having in there all right prince harry did his respect bow down to the king saw it all right missed it the first time okay someone i remember when i was on vacation responding to that okay yes i did uh and he made sure to walk slightly behind him too all right and you got me on this yes I now observe it. You're right. Yeah. Let's look at it one more time. All right. There's the bow. This is what I saw. And then let's see about the walking couple step behind. Let's see this part. Uh, no, nah, uh, I thought I saw it, but uh, it's actually in front. Okay. All right um let's see okay i don't want to talk about this but okay i love uh, the head bow show respect to the king of netherlands all uh, right the other one i guess the king was showing but anyway but let's see okay every time i see king Roman alexander all i can think about is how in my country we only know him because he's a he's the prince that married one of ours okay who is that king william alexander all i can think about is how in my country we only know him because he's the prince that married one of ours who, okay i'm a little bit confused one of the very few time my mom has mailed me something she included this magazine and not much else okay is that him when he got married he looks slightly different okay maxi Bo was it maxi boda okay don't know any of this okay the app the absolute pride 
of country and culture and her face just beautiful i wonder if his performance was a surprise for her okay i don't know she was from the americas as well oh i don't know i i don't follow any royals i don't know was she i have no clue i have no clue let's go to the next tweet i have no clue okay there they are remember when the daily fell marked harry and said none of the dutch royal will meet him well here he is sitting with the king harry stays winning <laughs> okay let's put this into that i don't want when i edit i'm having issues all right there's harry with the king okay proud of harry the rats no king uh that's the name the king alexander be there daily fell is as cheap and low that their gain is to have a hub of idiot for seven days believing the royals of the world do not want harry the lowest level in the world is not to be part of the tabloid worse is believe the nonsense they write all right we saw the king arriving on his own <laughs> the king arrived and greeted harry stop lying uh, there he is that's the one i just showed 20 second uh, there's harry he's Harry's taking the lead, I guess, to introduce him to the game, right? Not the king, not Harry walking behind. I don't know how I missed that. Yep. All right. Next tweet. Okay. The snubbing continue. They love to bob it, but the, the royal rats could, can't stop minding their own business. All right. There's that. More pictures. Okay. How will Harry cope with this terrible snub? Okay. One more thought. Look how casual and relaxed the king and the prince are. Dress them, compare that to the overdressed suit and tie William and Kate and even George think they need to wear to a UK rugby match. People recognize and appreciate real and heavy is real deal. Yeah, I, I even pointed out, look, you know, no tie, none of those things where they can even move to be themselves. You know, he went into, you know, when is a sporting event? You go there to enjoy the moment okay the king is having the time of his life there he is this is a very clear uh, a better clear image if by now you then follow other sussex uh quad uh, channels you you missed all right is that if you're happy and you know it clap your hand okay that's the most ex exercise he had all week <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay okay he all red in the face clearly he needs to get out and have some fun more often that, that's what i was saying and when i found out he only have girls i was like he probably was more than happy to go hang out with his cousin later on in other tweets i found out that uh what is it he uh um he only have girls so i was like he was more than happy to go hang out with his cousin look at harry harry look really handsome here he always does but this one my goodness all right facts his mother was the people's princess harry is the people's king all right facts next tweet what's the bottom here why is that the king is here all right what is that all right, this look like more tweets that probably not relate to uh the invicted all right um there's that all right how it started and how it's going all right there's this megan and harry are reportedly being snubbed by dutch royal okay that's when they started writing their nonsense april 15 2022 all right there's that megan marco and prince harry are heading to the netherlands for the invictus game this weekend but apparently they won't be getting an official royal welcome like one of the tweets said even if they then the king then show up it's not about that it's for the uh, the vets it's for the vets and this is it here having so much fun here <laughs> yep there's that and as, as one of my students pointed out the uk media coverage barely mentioned the dutch king attendance of the invictus and when they do it is buried so deep you'll be hard pressed to find the tilted paragraph of acknowledgement <laughs> okay and from a magazine titled women's health really that's where they put it 
These people are ridiculous. Uh, why? The fact that the one on the left is by a rag called Women's Health. They write nonsense about another woman who has been about uplifting women before her teens. Okay, is that is that from a Women's Health? Yeah, who, yeah, Women's Health. I didn't see that. My goodness. Ah, is that? Is that? What is that? How it started? How it's going? Okay, I don't know anything about. Is it those K-pop people? Okay. Uh, King at the okay, King at the game with Harry. So that's another set of tweets that I have. Okay, not Haza and K. Wilhelm Alexander having fun at IG22. <laughs> More pictures showing. There they are, just having fun. <laughs> Look at the guy in the back. Just having fun. Okay, but, 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 Harry is supposed to be snub. There is always but about that other side. People don't bother about them, please. All right, there's this. Deal with it. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, Al King, Willem, Alexander, together with Prince Harry. Prince Harry meets athletes participating in the Invictus Games in The Hague, the Netherlands, and attending closing day activities. Photos. There's that. There they are. Just having a blast. There he is here, paying attention. And there, I don't know where I read this, where Harry had said, was it the Hoda interview where uh, Archie be watching the was it rugby is it rugby uh match wheelchair match or something like that so he's already training archie to recognize uh people with disabilities as you know like everyday thing all right not to make a big deal out of it okay the king and the prince okay life has a way of telling the haters you don't call the shots there's one king who is king of all kings that has the final say King Willem Alexander, thanks for showing up. It shows you were having a great time. My one and only prince, Duke of Sussex, you're such a blessed man. Thank you. Okay, he's having a blast. Good to see a relaxed and a fun monarch. Okay, we are Invictus. I love this king. He shows you don't have to be all smug and full of yourself to be an effective ruler and have the respect of your people. Let's see, there's one comment. There's a heart here. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, I'm almost an hour and I have so much tweet to share. Okay, I think I showed this already. Is that the same one or something different? Oh my goodness, I have so much other tweets to share with you. Okay, our King Willem Alexander together with Prince Harry made athlete participating. I think that's the same one. Okay. that's that I think that's the same one I just showed I think so okay I'm a little bit backed up okay the king and the prince life has a way of telling the haters you don't call the shots there's only one king okay so I shared this already let's go to the next tweet there's that not Hazard and King Willem Alexander having fun all right so it looks like I I shared these and they are repeated Let's go to the next one. All these were things that I did um, while I was on vacation on my phone to share with you, bookmark them. The DJ and hype man at the wheelchair rugby and basketball matches was a highlight. They had King Wilm Alexander relieving his club kid days. <laughs> okay, I don't know anything about him. Uh, that's a retweet of what I just shared with you. He was the hype man throughout the event and he was excellent at it. The king is having more fun than he would have had at any formal royal audience. Thought the BS press and England said the king was going to snub Harry. <laughs> uh, 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 the hype man. All right, so that's that. All right, I have another one. Let's see here. I'm going to do as much because at 5.30, I'm going to wake up the kids for school. Okay, there's this. 
what the snubbing looks like, Prince Harry shake hands with the Dutch king at Invictus meeting. <laughs> There's the laugh up here. Okay, isn't what the UK tabloid and British royal family are good at. Copy and paste, copy the squad convo and paste it on the uh, on their article. Control C, Control V. Okay, that's that. Seven people. Okay, I'm closing my account and moving to Alaska. Uh, they are in our tweet. <laughs> they are and shameless. So. All right. So this is just saying that, you know, these are the some of the things the squad were talking about on Twitter and then they use it to create their headlines. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. All right. Let's go to the next tweet. OK, let's put. There's that the pride. I think I added this right after I came back yesterday. All right. There's Megan and Harry. That they are holding hands. I think that was the open ceremony. There's, yeah, look at them holding hands. Definitely a different vibe. Definitely a different vibe. There's the love. Absolutely. Uh, that's right, Megan. Cover your husband and love and support. Harry is very humble. I think he has a hard time accepting praise because he rarely received it growing up. That is true. The UK newspaper call him dumb and still do it. They hate him because he burst out of their narrative. Uh, why Harry was in prison in the UK, Megan helped him see his worth. Now they hate him because he had found himself. Behind every successful man is a strong woman. There's that. All right, different language. There's a heart. Such a beautiful couple. Harry is wanting everything to be perfect for the family mission accomplished. Dear Harry and Megan. All right. She loves Harry. We do too, Meg and you. There's a heart. Love. Different. Okay, that's just nonsense here. Cuties. All right. And the foolish British media royal family think he is leaving her and their children to go back to being the third wheel to the train wreck in the line of succession. Because, you know, crack is whack. <laughs> okay, Prince Harry is truly humble. Yep. Let's go to the next tweet. There's that. That's a different language. So that's uh, with the kids. All right. Uh, the king interviewed by kids. This is that. Uh, I'm going to play it, but I don't understand the thing. Let's listen. Majesteit, mag ik u misschien één vraag stellen? Absoluut. Bent u trots? Ik ben ontzettend trots. Maar ik ben met name trots op al deze mensen die het niet makkelijk hebben. Hè, die ook op een gegeven moment uh, het land gediend hebben, hun eigen land gediend hebben, mensen hebben geholpen, gewond zijn geraakt en met de sport weer weer bovenop komen. En dan zie je de trots in hun gezicht van deze mensen als ze daar een medaille winnen. Dat ze hierbij mogen zijn met hun vrienden van andere landen samen. Nou, dan zeg je van dat we dit in Nederland hebben kunnen organiseren. Prachtig. Oké. Okay. Vindt u het belangrijk dat u hier kinderen zijn? Ik vind het heel belangrijk dat hier kinderen zijn. Want je moet ook heel goed uh, zien dat mensen hun leven geven voor anderen. We zien nu ook op dit moment heel verschrikkelijk hoe een oorlog vlakbij in Oekraïne is. Dat mensen ook daar hun leven geven om hun land te beschermen. En deze mensen hebben dat ook gedaan vaak in een ander land voor andere mensen. En zijn gewond geraakt. En toch, hè, toch vechten ze weer bovenop dat ze hier aanwezig kunnen zijn. En het is heel goed ook voor kinderen om te zien dat dat, uh, wat mensen doen om hun land te beschermen. Heel erg bedankt. Dank je wel. Mogen we één Invictus High Five? Ja, absoluut. Ja? Heel goed. Doei. Doei. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what any other thing is said, but I'll let it play for you guys, whoever can understand it. I hope somebody in the comment uh, uh, translate. Okay, don't understand what he said, but love how the children were so thrilled and surprised that he will do a high five. And the other thing is, this is how you connect the old with the young. And he'll be very popular. I don't know how it is in the Netherlands, but the fact that he maintained the communication with the young kids, all right, he'll remain popular over there. But the others, I don't know. They just want praise all the time and they only go places where the old people uh, like them. So th this king is showing how it can be done. Okay, let's see here. I know what he said. There's me doing the translation. 
<laughs> I know what he said. Not really. He said he is, quote, a proud supporter of the Sussexes. He is a squad. There, I did my own translation for you. <laughs> okay. There's this here. People are laughing. Uh, experience of a lifetime for these children. Yeah, that is true. All right. That's more to update. Now, okay. This I cannot read. All right. So there's more of this. Next tweet. There is a lot. This video might be slightly longer because I already passed an hour. All right. Prince Harry riding his bike. Uh, this man has got the energy of God. He has literally been everywhere during the Invictus game. What an amazing patron he is. Invictus game 2022. The him riding his bike. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, throughout the event, it was all sunny. There was no rain. I don't think there was any rain. Okay, the hardest working royal ever. No wonder the royal family is falling apart without him. Okay, he is amazing. Uh, he truly is. There's that same thing again. Okay, there's him riding his bike. All right, next tweet, cycling. I think this has to do with competition. Okay, yeah. Nicholas Mellon, France, win gold in the sprint at the Melwood Cycling Race Final. What a support. Okay, nine seconds. Man, it takes a lot to create this. It takes a lot. Wow. Okay, Cycling Melon was double competing in his own personal Tour de France in the IG, um, IG game 2022. Bravo. Congratulations to all the cyclist competitors. They are, uh, they, they are, is Invictus. I guess they are Invictus. Okay, there's that. Congratulations, Nicholas. It seems like the, every respective countries who are strong and, uh, a certain spot like Tour de France and all of that, they won their respective sports. All right, next tweet, there's another one here. Okay, uh, was it M I R E B one race one by Italy? The second place is for USA. All right, how many? 13 seconds. <laughs> Okay, there's the praise. Okay. Thank you for your support, your stories, your achievement, and most of all, your unconditional love. It was an honor to have you all here in The Hague for IG22. We are proud that we were able to host this fifth edition together with all of you. You are Invictus. Edition together with all of you. You are Invictus. All right. So there's some pictures. Oh my goodness. There were a lot of people. That's the closing ceremony, by the way. Yep, that's all it's about. Make it. Make it there. Get yourself there. There's some more pictures. Team Ukraine, United States. Hmm. There's that. My goodness. Look at him. Okay, let's see. I mean, we went over that already. Next tweet, Roaring. These are some images that I came across and I sort of tried to put them together. Okay, the Aussie spirit and the Invictus all wrapped up in one video. Braza Raleigh, Bra Hill, a beautiful moment. Uh, Daily Invictus I view recap. Okay, you've got this, Aussie Vanessa, Bra Hill. There's a music in the background. I'm probably gonna. Growing machines where I've had my most of my panic attacks. So, 
I was freaking out and I happened to just glance over and I saw she was freaking out way more than me. She had some tears and uh, was struggling to breathe so um, I just you know thought I'd reach out to her and, and asked if she was okay and I was like do you want a hug but I wasn't sure if we had time so we just sort of held hands a little bit and um, I just tried to do all the things that people help me with. I was reminding her to breathe, you know, big breath in, big breath out and um, and she did, she calmed down a bit. She got through the race, that's the main thing, she finished the race. When you're sitting out there, you kind of forget that everyone's wearing a different colour, you forget that you're from different countries. You're all there with, uh, you know, your own problems <laughs> and you just want to help each other out. And it kind of Each one of them have their own problems, that's the thing here. They all have their own personal issues. It kind of helps you. Like I felt, I felt instantly better knowing that I had to just put all my shit aside because someone needed me more than I needed anything else. So um, yeah, I guess that's all part of the spirit of Invictus. You know, it's it's great. And she got through. I got through. We all got through. And uh, that's that's it. That's that's what it's about. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see here. This is just beautiful to watch such kindness and humanity display at the games. All right, what I've learned about the Invictus Games over the past week is that this is not just about sport or the veterans and servicemen. This event showcases the very best of humanity, something the world really needs right now. I'm telling you, yeah, it's true. Okay, that's all part of the Invictus spirit. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's go to the next one. See, this one is basketball. Let's see. Okay, it's 517 right now. Okay, yeah, congrats, Team USA. Um, Team US and Army Star Staff Sergeant Joel Rodriguez. What a beautiful moment for you and your family. Okay, 10 seconds. That's the one he was talking about and the other thing. And as for Megan. <laughs> what a game. Let's see here. I swear I'm not cutting any onions. This is just perfect. Little Elijah, we stand the Rodriguez family. Congratulations, Team USA. You were all phenomenal. OMG, my heart. This is just so beautiful. So many wonderful moments. And Prince Harry is just the most amazing example of someone with love and the means wanting to genuinely help the others and doing it. His price, it's amazing. Okay, I will retweet this. I will retweet this video anytime I see it. So precious. All right. There's this. There's, all right. This one is repeating. There's another one. Let's see that. Okay. My glorious husband and uh, my glorious husband. I am so immensely proud. We have had the most exhilarating, emotional, exhausting week, but it has been truly wonderful. It is clear how much it means for him to represent his country once more. What a guy. Okay, we know nothing. Zero help for hero. All right, that's that. Okay, let's see here. A truly extraordinary member, Tony Young and Prince Harry. Their prince, okay, their prince was visibly moved after the embrace and tears were flowing all around the stadium. All right, let's see here. Wow. Who knows what's going on in his mind knowing that he made it here. Most of, look at her. You could see there's tears there too. My goodness, there's that. Made it. Okay, beautiful picture. Bless his heart. Continue blessing to your family. There's a love. Love your support for your husband. Wow, I can feel the emotion in those photos. Yeah, I see it too. I could feel it too. Thank you both for your service. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's see here. I think once I stop this video, I'm just going to wake up the kids. It's, wow, 5, 520. Okay, and Victor's Game Netherlands, IG22. I think that's when they were entering. Yep, waiting to go in. Closing ceremony. Yep. Okay. What's this? The entrance to the stadium where the closing ceremony is being kept. Okay, there's a huge crowd. 
All right, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, that's that. His title doesn't matter to them. His invictus spirit is what makes him. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. Okay, there's that. This is nice. Yep, yep, yep. Showing respect. <laughs> he earned it. Okay, I hope there's okay, I hope there won't come a time when the games are so big like the Paralympics have and hugged the athlete. It looks like he met every single one of every single one in the Hague. Okay, the military stick by each other. They know what real service mean. Yep, that is true. Yeah, the, I understand this person, but I think he'll find a way to make time. I think he'll find a way to make time. And it's true. It seems like he met every single one of them. Next tweet. Okay, trying to get Harry out, but it's a hassle. He stopped, okay, he stopped for pigs and he has to stop for the dogs, but eventually they got it done. All right, 21 seconds. with some of the comment or oh, i feel bad for the guy from iraq uh what happened to the guy from iraq i don't know okay he already hugged harry after his speech okay so i don't know i don't know anything about that okay he probably went straight to the airport gonna sleep in his own bed tonight <laughs> the squad were making fun of that i think i have it it might be uh, on the next video whenever i get to be caught again because after this i have to take care of the kids for school okay looks like uh this is happening go harry prince harry okay i'm determined to have a rel a relatively normal life and if i am lucky enough to have children they can have one too prince harry <laughs> that's when he was young <laughs> get the full set of hair okay he did it great find okay living the dream prince without border yep all right let's go to the next tweet now i'm rushing and the tweets are short i mean the comments are short under the tweets next tweet if they are discussing harry and megan security detail with the daily mail can they really ensure their safety okay exactly what i see is a deliberate do you always embrace this role and responsibility um no i don't think i don't think i understood it i think uh I think what uh, I think what happened to my mum probably put me a step back, thinking, well, how could someone who did, did so much for the world and did so much for everybody else could be treated like that by a certain institution? So it attempt to endanger a brilliant humanitarian and his wife. I be in the UK. They should they should ninja they should ninja in Archie if they need to, and ninja back out uh, vultures even now. Okay, yeah, what I, what I question to the time. Okay, don't share their security arrangement or personnel. Yeah, I mean, that's a given. Okay, Harry and Meghan, the young Obamas, are the money makers. If I was one of the greedy, elite, money hungry power players, I would want them, uh, I would want them back in the UK, even if it's part time. Believe me, many of them are shocked and angry at the success of Harry and Meghan. Okay, why she was already successful. I don't know what these people are thinking. I mean, now that they're making it big, I mean, Harry been telling them. They refused because their, their, how do you call this? Their blueprint was working so well for them, so they didn't see to change. All right? They tell us over and over. They're not willing to change. But Harry was telling them, you need to change. But and they, instead of going the positive way, they decided to go the negative way, hating on his wife. So he left. And then he's doing what he's been telling them to do. Now, this is the success of it. If they had listening to them, all that positivity that's going on with the Invictus, it will be a W for them as well. But no. All right. So Harry took it alone with his family. All right. That will be his legacy. Winter is coming to Canada. Invictus game, IG. Uh, 25. There's a music. There's a music, but at the beginning, I'm I'm gonna have. To
heard you are planning to do a winter Invictus Games. We all know the power that adaptive sport has to transform lives, including mine. We are super excited at the prospect of a winter Invictus Games that will bring some of those winter sports to the forefront of our veteran community. There is a huge want for winter sports within the military community. The idea of winter hybrid games is an excellent idea for the future development of the Invictus Games. To test ourselves in different ways. So they were asking for it they were asking for it so he's he's giving them what they want and creating it one in canada okay in this game i'm the perfect opportunity for me to rediscover my passion and practice as much as i can i think the, the opportunity to be exposed to winter sport has truly been a, a massive part of my journey the games are, are fantastic and i think Adding more sports being winter would be such a great idea and uh, I'm all for it. What a winter we get this game to say, Vancouver, Canada has got it all over. And I think skiing and winter games, I can't think of a more exciting venue to bring the first ever Invictus Winter Games to Canada. We did it in 2017 and we're ready to do it again. Plus, where better to host the first winter Invictus Games than the true north? <laughs> So allow us to rally together once again and host an exceptional games. Hope to see you there, folks. Bring it on. Challenge accepted. Mm. Okay. As Kobe posts about Vancouver, so me this. Uh, video, but this video has me looking at the hotel even even though it's three years away amazing <laughs> she's already planning okay this look like it's going to be awesome definitely looking forward to ig25 canada oh love this canada all right let's go this might be the last one oh, yeah that's the last one and then i'll uh after the kids go to school i'll do the next one next video there's this we are all so proud of what our Canadians accomplished at this Invictus game in The Hague. We can't wait to host them on home soil in three years' time. See you uh, in British Columbia in February 2025. Okay, Invictus game 2025, Vancouver, Russell. Give the Invictus game. Okay, that's in French. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Minister. We are so grateful for your support of recovery with you. Invictus game with you with you and Victor's game 2025 all right so excited it's wonderful to bring the ig back to canada all right so i'm gonna stop here let's do a prayer okay this was the last prayer i did in video oops google let's do prayer for i was thinking success let's do success all right um now I'm in a rush. Let's do, let's do this. You have been a source of happiness. Pray God Almighty, never take away your happiness from you. I pray that you, I pray that joy and success will never depart from your life. All right, I need to stop. I need to do, be a mother now. Uh, let me go wake up the kids. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate. And uh, as I said on video one, I'm planning to do subscription. So, uh, I think it's going to be a fixed price, $7.99. If later on I decided to do, uh, to change it slightly, uh, I'll do it. But for now, I'm thinking $7.99. And if you guys want to donate to this channel, nah. and then um, if you want to uh, donate less, you could go on PayPal and donate. If you want to donate more, hey, the, it's PayPal. But $7.99 will be a more reasonable for those who wants to donate there's some stuff i want to do but the way youtube is going with my channel it will make it difficult to do it and i don't want to say it and that because due to timing i'll have to I feel like i'll have to let you know what's going on in order for you to know uh to keep you up to date and i don't want people to pressure me because they are donating um to whatever cause that i plan on doing but anyway so that's it thanks for subscribing